If you're a woman over 30, you may no longer be welcome in China's dating market. This is Replicant Fish. Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a good week. Hope today is good. We've reached Friday and I have this one for you. In my season of videos about leftover women and men. No one cares. Of China, but not just China, the world. How this may be a glimpse of the future or another point of view of what's going on in the West. Which I find quite intriguing. From South China Morning Post, a video titled Female and Over 30, China's Dating Market May Not Want You. <coughs> Good God, my God, this video is cold already and it's about to get even more cold. Just like a woman. Now, yes, I know sometimes I do take the piss. Proper garden tool. What? But, but this I think is the coldest of these videos I think I've made. Due to a hidden camera, we see how blunt the older Chinese folk are. But enough waffling, enough waffling. Let's begin. Damn. Shang Yu, 1983. Same year as me. This video is from 2018 as well, by the way. But she was born in 1983. Now, let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. You know, I, I don't think I'm an old bastard. <laughs> to be honest, some would say, yes, fish. You're, yes, fish, 37, you're an old bastard. I would say, hold up, hold up. I wouldn't say 37 is old, but then again, I'm a man. Here, here, woof, woof, as men, yeah. Because you see, in China, a woman of 30 is seen as she's past the point, really. She's too old to be seen as wife material. You're just jealous. But in terms of starting a family. <laughs> wow, you are very brave. <laughs> Telling this woman of 34 years old at the time that she's brave to be out there marketing herself in this market. Proper garden. Now, some would say that's sad. Some would laugh at it and laugh and say, ah, oh, look at her. <laughs> she can't get a man. However, however, to be a bit more subtle. Oh, God. You know, for many women, they have marketed themselves out of the market. Where, in a sense, in an actual market, they're seen as leftover goods. Nobody wants that. It's not viable enough. Which is sad, but very true, especially here. <laughs> Once again, once again, didn't matter anything she had, didn't matter her education, didn't matter her degrees, didn't matter what she had learned or built up in her career. No one cares. Her age hindered her from doing all of that. Now, let's say she was 25. Having those skills and being 25, yes, I believe those skills would have made her more, you know, viable as marrying material. I know it sounds horrible and quite cold and callous. Just like a woman. But I mean... But this is the way it's viewed in certain parts of China to a large degree. But then again, you understand why. Wow, okay. So they're saying that, yes, she's a decent woman. She's a good woman. They're not saying trash already, trash. She's a bad woman. They're just saying because of her age, she's just trash. Leftovers in countryside. Not in the city, not the life, not the life of the city. No, the countryside where old folk go to retire. That's somewhat sad. <laughs> A woman's virtue lies in her lack of talent. That's interesting. Is it to say the more educated a woman is, the less tolerable she is? The less virtuous of a woman she is. Proper garden tool. The more garden tool-esque, more loose of a woman she is. This web is on fleek. Interesting point. But as we have seen, and the point is true, some women can 
over-educate themselves out of the market. Of course, any woman can educate herself as much as possible. However, the factor is... No one cares. Is she going to market herself out of the market? In the time it takes her to get the degrees, will men just find her too cold because they may see that she's too old then? I'm just saying. Sad parents and grandparents. But is it wrong? Should they want to sell off their children and grandchildren? Their grown children and grandchildren, just in hopes of continuing the lineage of the family. Which is an important thing, not just in China, pretty much everywhere. The importance of carrying on the bloodline, the family, the lineage. Us, the family name, the tradition. Or do you end up becoming left over because you don't follow tradition? But going from there, I have another video here. One about how some men, leftover men, are finding a way out of, let's say, the situation in China. So clearly, we have Chinese and Taiwanese bachelors hooking up with Eastern European women. Because for some leftover bachelors in China, ones that make enough money, they can afford to, well, venture out of China to look for a wife, look for a woman. This video is titled, Chinese men are looking for Eastern European brides from Inkstone. And dating in China is difficult. So some Chinese men, as long as the money's there, are able to opt out and date women from around the world. Even if they're single mothers, where you think, oh, what? come on, still, but single mothers, really? But okay, let, let's carry on. If I'm correct, she sounds Polish. If I'm correct, someone correct me if I'm wrong. I know I'm probably wrong, but she sounds Polish. So why is it that there are so many women available in Poland for these Chinese men to marry? Shang Nu, what's happening in Poland? That may be an interesting video. <laughs> Okay, let's stop there, but I'm excited to have a mixed race baby. Interesting. My previous video, we looked at mixed weight relationship as in one slimmer and one more let's say out of shape but mixed race relationships that's something more common but the desire to have a mixed baby is interesting Ooh, mixed babies are smarter and prettier is that triggering for some people shong new <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, he's he's very bold, but let's carry on. Okay. 
感非常强。哦，当然还有。Да, я перекрасилась, чтобы больше походить на китаянку. Я тогда буду больше уверена, что мужчина, который ко мне подходит, он ему интересно, я как личность, интересно узнать меня, мою душу. Okay, so first I thought, yeah, I probably do her. Then I found out, oh, she's actually a nice person. Oh, yeah, that's the way it works usually. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Они, потому что я там похожа на кого-то там из телевизора, кто ему нравится, на кого я. Я, я хочу настоящих каких-то серьезных отношений. What do you think? You are hurting my feelings. Is marrying out a good option if marrying within your race is difficult? Is it better to explore further afield? Do some really want to have a mixed baby? Are some so lost and left over that they can't find anyone? Thus. Marrying out is their only and maybe better option. What do you think? But for now, focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have.